you feed us with the body and blood of our Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins. May He forgive us our sins. Join your prayers with one. Heavenly Father, in creating the human race, you will that man and wife should be as one. Join, we pray, in the bond of inseparable love. These your servants, John and Alexis who are to be united in covenant marriage, so that as they make their love fruitful, they may become, by your grace, witnesses to charity itself, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in from the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Listen now as God speaks to his people. Reading from the book of Genesis, the Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whenever the man called, whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, all the wild animals but none proved to be a suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, this one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man, this one has been taken. This is why man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become the word of the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.
letter of Paul to the Corinthians. If I speak human or angelic languages, but do not have love, I am a sounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so that I can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. And if I donate all my goods to feed the poor, and if I give my body in order to boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy, is not boastful, is not conceited, does not act improperly, is not selfish, is not provoked, and does not keep a record of wrongs. Love finds no joy in unrighteousness, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as far as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for languages, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when the perfect comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. For now we see indistinctly as in a mirror, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I will know fully as I am fully known. Now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Freely inferior wine. 
but you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs in Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends, John and Alexis, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament, so you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. John and Alexis, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to each other in marriage? Yes. Yes. Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. Yes. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the laws of Christ and this church? Yes. Yes. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hands 
and declare your consent before God and his church. I, John, take you, Alexis, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love and honor you all the days of my life. I, Alexis, take you, John, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love and honor you all the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. And remember, what God has joined, man must not divide. I pronounce you husband and wife. John, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alexis, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
hope of bishops and clergy everywhere, that they may lead us to deep faith in God and a strong love for others. We let us pray to the Lord. For our president and our leaders of government, that they may be effective in achieving peace and eliminating poverty, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear Command persons that they may continue to give, be good, able to forgive and to find happiness even within the passing of each day. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear For John and Alexis, now beginning their life together, that they may have divine assistance at the moment, the constant support of friends, the rich blessings of children, a warm love reaching out to others, and good health until a ripe old age, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For those who are sick, lonely, discouraged, or oppressed, that they may be strengthened by God's help and aided by their friends, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially the relatives and friends of John and Alexis, and all present for this wedding, that they may enjoy perfect happiness and total fulfillment and eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord for the personal needs which we mention now in silence, we pray to the Lord. May they find fulfillment in your love. May they awaken our hearts to your loving presence. May they be one with you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Jesus. Lift up your hearts. <coughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right, just. Our duty, our salvation, always everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For you have forged the covenant of marriage as a sweet yoke of harmony and as an unbreakable bond of peace, so that the chaste and fruitful love of a holy matrimony may serve to increase the children you adopt with your own. Father, by your providence and grace, you accomplish the wonders of this twofold design, that while the birth of children bring beauty to the world, the rebirth and baptism give an increase to your church through Christ our Lord. Now with angels and saints, Father of all creation, we become a voice, and our hearts cry out. Saints, we're pleased to be blood angels. 
we may merit to be coerced to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord for this bride and groom, who come to the altar as they begin their married life, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, they may always be bound together by a love for one another. Holy Father, who formed man in his own image, male and female, you created them so that husband and wife united in body and heart. They might fulfill their calling in the world. O oh God, who to reveal the great design you formed in your love, will that the love of spouses for each other should foreshadow the covenant you graciously made with your people, so that by the fulfillment of the sacramental sign, the mystical marriage of Christ with his church, might become manifest in the union of husband and wife among your faithful. Graciously stretch out your right hand over these, your servants, John and Alexis. We pray and pour into their hearts the power of the Holy Spirit. Grant, O Lord, that as they enter upon the sacramental union, they may share with one another the gifts of your love and by being for each other a sign of your presence and of one heart and one mind. May they also sustain, O oh Lord, by their deeds, the home they are forming, and prepare their children to become members of your heavenly household by raising them in the way of the gospel. Graciously crown with your blessing your daughter of Exodus, so that by being a good wife and mother, you may bring one to, to her home with a love that is pure and adorned with welcoming graciousness. Bestow a heavenly blessing also, O Lord, on John your servant, that he may be a worthy, good, and faithful husband and a provident father. Grant, Holy Father, that desiring to approach your table as a couple joined in marriage in your presence. They may one day have the joy of taking part in the great banquet in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ who spoke to you across as he speaks to us. And in peace. But please I get to But please don't look at us. And if you're not a simple message, grant us the peace, the unity of your kingdom, when you live forever in the May the peace of the Lord be with you. Love us all for each other in the sign of peace.
If I could ask a favor, in our faith experience, we believe this is a very radical moment where God himself is present to us to feed us and to nurture us through the gift of the Eucharist. My invitation, you know, lately it seems we've forgotten who we are. Uh, as you come up, for, if you're coming up for communion, if I could ask, please do not invade the prayer life of the couple. Let them be at prayer. You can chit chat with them later. But as you come up to receive communion, let it be sacred, let it be a moment of prayer as the Lord fills our heart with his presence. Thank you. 
by choice and by love. This new family leaving his own one out, but binds us in a special way to each other. This family is made up of John, Alexis, and Alex. And today they make certain promises to each other. John, do you pledge to create a place for your wife and for Alex to, sh to grow in safety and in love? Yes, I do. Alexis, do you pledge this day to create a place for your husband and Alex to grow in safety and in love? Yes. Alex, do you promise this day to help create a home where each person in the family is given the love and respect they deserve? Yes. Since you have all said yes, let us seal these promises with a special meal. Let this bread that we now share be a sign of our promise to be food to each other and nurture each other and help each other to grow. Let this cup of wine be a sign of our promise to bring laughter and joy to each other and share it with the family that we create today. Let this salt, with its bittersweet taste, remind us that though there will be times of trouble, we will persevere and not give up, but bring sweetness and healing to each member of our family. We make this pledge to each other with our whole heart, our whole mind, our soul, and we ask God our Father to help us keep this. We've signed. This day we become a family. Ask the Holy Family to bless us, to watch over us all the days of our life. May the covenant begun today find its completion in the heart of God.
At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the bride's parents, Victoria and Richard Timbino. Okay, next up, we got Scroogeman Frank Flanagan and Maid of Honor, Samantha Harbin. Give it up. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Bobby Foley and Maid of Honor, Christian Lucko. Wait, I messed that up, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Now we got Frank Flanagan. And Samantha Harbin, give it up for them, ladies and gentlemen. Way to go. Okay, next up we have junior bridesmaids, Olivia Boylan. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce John and Alexis Foley. tradition we greet you with bread and salt that you may enjoy in abundance. It's a Polish culture. The bread represents the parents' hope that their children will never experience hunger and need. <laughs> the salt signifies that you overcome the bitterness in life. <laughs> and now the parents are going to produce the vodka and the water. Now, whoever gets the vodka wears the pants in this family. So we'll know in a second. John, it's you? I don't believe it for a second. <laughs> anyway, give it up. Come on, give a big round of applause for the Polish blessing. That was really nice. Everybody! Oh, 
emotional touch Touching my skin And asking you to do What you've been doing all over again Oh, it's a beautiful thing Don't think I can keep it all in Big round of applause for the proud girls and the gentlemen What it is that won't let me go It's your love Come on, join in. Join in. Way to go, Bobby. I owe you guys. And all of this happened by taking your hand. Who I am now is who I wanted to be. And now that we're together, I'm stronger than ever. I'm happy and free. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, I think I can keep it all in. If you ask me why I change, all I gotta do is say your sweet name. It's your love. Something to me, it sends a shock right through me. I can't get enough. And if you wonder about the spell I'm under, Okay, now it's time for Dad. Okay, Richard, you're up. Look at the two of you dancing that way, lost in the moment and each other's face. So much in love, you're alone. Place like there's nobody else in the world. I was enough for her not long ago. I was her number one. She told me so, and she still means the world to me. Just so you know, so be careful. Big round 
round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, the bride and groom, and the father, everybody's wonderful. Good stuff. Okay, now we need everybody to uh, walk this way. I'm going to have Father Victor Kennedy come on up. He's going to give the blessing. Here you go, Father. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord God, our Father, we give you thanks and praise for the life and the love you share with us. Ask for your blessing. There is no need. You have gifted it. Father, what we ask is that we will awaken to your blessings and that our life will be a celebration as tonight is. We pray this to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Okay, big round of applause for the Father. And now... It's time for our first toast. Everybody get your glasses. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Bobby Voli. Kristen? I can see there's three toasts. This is a drinking crowd. It's all good. Well, mine's a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> she, has, she has notes. Yeah. I wish I knew I could get away with it. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, no, you couldn't. So, I didn't okay. All right. So, for those of you that don't know me, I am Kristen. I'm Alexis's cousin. Um, I've known her my whole life, obviously. <laughs> Growing up, though, well, you're old. Yeah. I she's older, right? Just, just like a month or two. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, I remember getting so excited every time we get to see each other. Having sleepovers with matching pajamas, even though you only made it to the middle of the night before you started calling mommy. <laughs> and you had to come home. <laughs> Playing Pretty Princess and going pumpkin picking with my mom and dad. There's no crying at weddings. It's going to be much longer. <laughs> <laughs> it is. We're hungry. We just wanted to drink. Let me get through this. Okay. Well, we missed out on each other's lives for some time because we both are too stubborn for our own good and the pine beetle genes are very strong. I can't say that I would change it. I feel that our relationship is so much stronger because of it. We stopped talking as cousins, but we were united as sisters. Aww. I believe that things happen for a reason, and like me, your path in life took unexpected turns, but it blessed you with Alex, an amazing young man. John, you were on your own path, and you were blessed with three children yourself. Although both your paths were filled with twists and turns, they led straight to each other. From the first time I met John, I knew he was special. After all it takes, a very special man to be with one of us. <laughs> So, yeah, right? Take <laughs> like somebody special to do with our crazy family. You can just ask my husband. You know. Johnny fits seamlessly into our family, and not everyone would take that as a compliment, but it is meant to be, and we love you. After all, our second page of questions. Who else would understand that spackle fixes everything? Oh my god. <laughs> Would tell Alexis that her paint job looks great. Yes. <laughs> Help her fix the rug that she had to rip up in the middle of the night. Yes. Understand that you're always going to be wrong. And the best thing you can do is just say, okay. Okay. <laughs> you are lucky to have her. Okay. But Alexis and Alex are lucky to have you too. Everyone can see how much you love Alexis just by seeing the two of you together. You're an amazing father to Alex as well. Love isn't perfect, it isn't a fairy tale or a storybook, it doesn't always come easy. 
Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, and fighting to be together. Holding on and never letting go. Love is work, but most of all, love is realizing that every hour, every minute, and every second of it was worth it because you did it together. So, congratulations, Alexis, John, and Alex. I wish you all the best on this new chapter in your family. Cheers. 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 Now let's give a fist and a round of applause. Come on, give it up. That was so heartfelt. That was wonderful. Good job. Good job. Okay, we're not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we're a drinking crowd, like I said. So we have uh, we have Samantha Harmon coming up. Samantha, where are you? Samantha? Oh, here she is. It's her turn. Big round of applause for Samantha, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I, she has more in peace, I like it. <laughs> For all the uh, that don't know me, my name is Amanda. I met Alexis just over two years ago when she came into our job for an interview. I still remember when she came into the office with the bright pink shoes. I went home later that day and told her mom about these shoes and how jersey she was. <laughs> At one point, not too long after, Alexis told me, or boss Bill mentioned me in the interview and how we would get along so well because of so many similarities. So thank you, Bill, for hiring her, and I apologize for all the shenanigans we may bring to the office. But two years of working together, um, I consider her not just my coworker, but she is one of my closest friends and a family member. During the whole wedding process, Alexis and John laughed and told me I was their Amy in the Big Bang Theory <laughs> when Kenny and Leonard get married. When I'd never seen it, Alexis sat down with me and had me watch it. I kind of did die laughing, and I take ownership for being, at times, a little overly excited for them and this big step. I do apologize to John for narrowing down some of my um, choices for him and Alexis to pick from the final twos, maybe invitations and food. But I've always thought, at the end of things, I've always thought two puzzle pieces in a relationship have very similar, are very similar. Um, you can't change puzzle pieces, and they're two different, like, they're very perfect. And in a relationship, you shouldn't change two people to make each other work. Alexis and John don't change when they are separate and together. They, they are who they are. John has a way of calming Alexis down when she is stressed and does what she is asked and says, okay. Alexis shows John the smaller things in life and makes him appreciate those. And love is never easy and will want to break at times, but just as puzzle pieces, I know that they have the strength and love to have that. Happy ever after. Cheers. Oh, big round of applause for Samantha. That's also hard to Very, very, very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, find your seats. The first course will be served. And a big round of applause for the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. John Foley.
applause for Governor Alexis. Give it up for the bride and groom. Okay, Victor, you're on. So if, wait, if anybody needs a drink in their hand because they don't have alcohol, go see Stephen right now. He's waiting for you. So because this is a real toast, so let's do this. All right, ready? Ladies and gentlemen, Victor Walenta. Well, my toast isn't, you know, front and back pages here, so I'll, I'll make it very short, you know. But, uh, John, I grew up with you. I know what kind of guy you are. And Alexis, uh, you're like my other daughter. Went through good times, bad times. I know what you went through. And uh, I just got to say, you know, you married a good man. I saw how both of you saw. And um, it's going to be great for Alex. And I uh, hope it stays that way. And I'm getting choked up. And I wish you all the best. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, Vic. You forgot your drink. Stephen's went for your drink in post. Okay, come on. You gotta do it right. Come on. Come on, He's waiting for you. You gotta do the toast. Stephen's waiting for you. Stephen, make a picture whenever you need to. He's very pretty. Sure. Okay, here's your drink, come on. They got a toast. Ready for it? You gotta do this right. Ladies and gentlemen, Victor one more time, because now he has a drink in his hand. I'll make it short, people, but good luck, John, you're a good man. Good luck, Alex, you're a great mom. And uh, hopefully you both will be a great husband and wife. Thank you. Okay, good luck. And many more. That's better. Give Victor a big round of applause.